Hey guys, it's the Riker Dane. I'm really excited right now, and I've got something to show you. Uh, what do we got right here? It's an iPhone 5. So anyway, I know there's about a thousand different videos on reviewing of the iPhone 5, but you know what? I'm going to review it too. Well, since you clicked on this thumbnail, you must have thought this video was going to be really good. Well, it's going to be, so just keep watching. So I hate to say this, but for all the people out there who did a pre-order and you ordered after 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. last Friday, you're probably going to be waiting on your iPhone for about uh, maybe two to three weeks. But look what I did. I waited in line last night. It really wasn't that bad. And look what I got, an iPhone. I've got it now and you don't. <laughs> okay, okay, be nice with the comments now. Don't take your anger out of me because you got to wait on your iPhone. So let's check this baby out. You probably already know what's inside, but I'm going to show you anyway. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Got the white, the white iPhone with the silver back. It's got that brushed aluminum on the back and on the edges. And the white front. And, um, you know, once you put a case on here to protect it, you may not see a whole lot of that. But a very nice screen, a lot bigger, and you can already tell when you take it out, it's a lot lighter. A lot lighter, you can tell it's a little bit thinner than the 4S, but very nice. Let's see what else is in here. Got your manual, looks like. Then you've got your ear pods, which these are $29 on uh, Apple's site. Uh, but these are the new technology for uh, headphones for earbuds, but they call them ear pods now. You have that uh, volume control on there, but also the speaker system is different where it goes into your ear and uh, makes your music sound a lot better. Very cool to have these with the iPhone. Then of course the controversial connector, the lightning pin, which you can see it right there. Lightning pin connector, eight pin connector, nice and small. And it goes in the phone both directions. So it doesn't matter. And then your wall plug in for uh charging. Don't forget your Apple stickers. So that's what's in the box. Let's check out this phone. So again with that retina display and that 16 by 9 aspect ratio you're going to be able to have a clear home screen but then you get that extra row of apps which is going to be 20 in total and then also for video playback when you turn it on its side you're going to have less of the letter boxes on the side. So let's compare the two phones, the 4S and the 5. As you can see already, the width is a little bit thinner. It's not much, but you can, you can tell noticeably when you hold it in your hand. The other thing is the length. The length, again, is not much, but you can definitely tell when you look at the screens. If you hold the screen up right there, you've got that extra, extra inch. With the camera features, both cameras have 8 megapixel cameras and they both have 1080 video recording. But with this new iPhone 5, they use this new crystal glass lens that makes your pictures and videos very clear. Another thing you may notice is going to be the headphone jack is now on the bottom instead of on the top. Still have the power button in the same position. The iPhone 4S has the A5 processor whereas the iPhone 5 has the A6 processor. If you already have the iPhone 4S, then you have probably upgraded to the iOS 6 operating system, which comes standard on the iPhone 5. So let's get into some apps and some other cool things on this phone. One of the new cool features is the Maps app, but this phone isn't activated yet. 
so I'm going to show you on the 4S. If you already have the 4S, then you'll know what I'm talking about because you probably have upgraded. If you don't have an iPhone at all and you're getting the iPhone 5, then you'll see it when you get it. But this map system is really cool because it's got the 3D viewer on it. So all you do is scroll around just like normal. London. All you do is hit that 3D button. You can spin the buildings around and look at different parts of the world. The other cool app on here that they included is Passbook. This is going to keep track of all your boarding passes, tickets, store cards, coupons, just like it says right here on the screen. But basically you're going to scan those items and then it goes right into your phone. And then when you go to the store or you want to get on the plane, all you got to do is have them scan your phone. And as simple as that, you don't have to keep track of uh, uh, ticket stubs or receipts or anything like that. The next feature that was updated on the iOS 6, which is on this iPhone or the iPhone 4S, is the panoramic feature. So the iPhone 5 is a great upgrade from the 4S. It's got a lot of extra bells and whistles on it. It's got some new features, some new apps. Also with YouTube, you have to go to the App Store to download that YouTube app because they no longer have it on here. This iPhone 5 is going to be great. I'm really excited about using it. I hope you get one. If you see this video, comment down below and let me know when you get yours. Along with this video and the other five iPhone 5 videos that you've watched, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.